Hello everyone, my name is Maria and welcome to the channel. Today we continue playing Lake and we are going to find out more about Meredith's fate about whether she's going to stay in Providence Oak or is she going to come back to the city maybe she's gonna get some romance and I'm going to the store you might be wondering why but it's because the woman there promised us to show the results of our photography activities and I'm hoping it's gonna be nice I managed to get the machine to work. Here are the pictures. Ooh, that's our pictures. Some of them I took without you guys, so let's look through them. This is the statue. This one isn't looking very good, but I guess it's okay. This one, this one is the winner, I think. It looks very nice. And this is the photo of the farm with our best friend who is searching for gold nuggets. This is an eagle, we took it together. I don't remember where, but it's also okay. This doesn't look good. This is the shop and I think it would look better with lighting. But unfortunately it was daytime, so we will have to accept this one and this is just the city with a little bit of a traffic jam caused by yours truly this is just a small nice house and this is photo of trees and the funny thing is that i actually have quite a few photos that look very similar to this one in real life and another cute little house very nice let's say that we are happy with them. Thank you. I'm happy with how they turned out. Apparently they're running a photography competition to promote the new photo labs. If you're interested in entering, you can pick out one of your pictures. Of course I am. Yes. Oh, that sounds like fun. I'd like to participate. Well, just pick one and submit it. But I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. <laughs> I mean, this one is cute, but I really like this one. I think this one is my favorite. I also enjoy looking at this picture, but I don't know, there is something about this one that I really like. Hmm. hmm, okay. Put it in this envelope and write your name and address on the back. Is she teaching me how to send mail? So I guess we did it right? Let me just make sure. People love to browse the shop and then not buy anything. Okay, this is it, right? Yeah, right. So now we are just going to return the van and get back to our house, I guess, right? I don't know, do we have any plans for today? No, not for today, for tomorrow, because today is Thursday. So tomorrow we are going to watch the cats. Yay, how exciting is that? I mean, the cats are cute, so I don't mind. Now let's go here and see what's going to happen. Good afternoon, Miss Weiss. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Morgan. I wanted to let you know that today was my last day here. That was quick. Will Frank be coming back? No, Frank ran away from the country. Oh, really? Will Frank be coming back then? That's all I have to say. Good luck. He's not very polite. Wise residence, Thursday afternoon. Hello? Hi, Em. It's me, Kay. Oh. oh, hi, Kay. Good, you're home. Listen, I don't know if you're busy tonight, and I wouldn't normally bother you like this, but I'm kind of in a huge pickle at the moment, and now I'm imagining being inside of a huge pickle. Thanks, brain. Yes, sure. <laughs> sure, what's up? Okay, so this is going to sound like I'm 16, but I have these tickets to a really big concert tonight for Barry and me, and it seems the babysitter has just bailed on me. All right, so maybe the babysitter part doesn't sound like I'm 16, I hope. <laughs> anyway, it's Journey, so I'm like, I need to go tonight, and I got these tickets ages ago. 
And it's a long drive to Portland, so we'll probably be out all night, and I promise you I've called everyone and their brother besides. They're really good kids to watch tonight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Oh, I thought she was... I thought she was asking us to go with her to the concert and the husband could watch the kids. Oh, I'm upset now. I was so excited about spending time with her, but I guess her kids will do. Kay! Inside voice, Kay! Inside voice. <laughs> yeah, sorry. You're totally right. I'm blabbering on R and I. Okay, don't freak out. You got this. All right, recap. Journey tonight, in Portland, got tickets, sitter bailed. So I guess you figured out by now that I'm awkwardly trying to ask if maybe you could do me a huge favor and watch Grace and Max tonight? Yes, of course I can. But I would prefer to leave your husband home alone and spend this wonderful evening with you. Hey, it's fine, don't worry. Watch your kids. Yeah, let's watch the kids. Hey, it's fine, don't worry. I'll babysit tonight. Oh my god, you serious? That sure. would help me out in such a big way! And I would owe you big time. Huge! Yeah, no problem. You would, wouldn't you? Interesting. You would, wouldn't you? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> oh dear, never mind. Don't care. Can you be here around 6 p.m.? So in like 30 minutes? Sure. Well, you don't have to bring anything. There's food, videos, even a cardboard replica of Apollo 11 with a set of matching helmets. You're covered. See you in a bit! All right! See ya! That's cute. We're gonna spend time with some kids. I think they should be wonderful because she is wonderful. Alright! Who wants s'mores? <laughs> Wait. I will not see the kids even. Hey, hey, hey! Guess who's back? Frank? Oh, Frank. I didn't expect you here. I didn't expect you here. I'm so happy to be here again. I guess Morgan didn't stick around to welcome me back. Nope. Good riddance. Hell yeah, that clueless piece of work. I don't like Frank anymore, if I'm being completely honest, but alright. Tell me more. How'd you get rid of him? Well, what can I say? Don't mess with the big boys. I guess they didn't understand that some of my customers do a little more than talking about their cats. <laughs> What is it about the old lady? Are they criminals? No, no, nothing that bad. Frank Coleman's no stranger to the high stakes game. I've got lawyers in my inner circle. All it took were a couple of lawsuit threats. Lawsuits for what? That's... that's a bit strange. But Frank, isn't this all just really wrong? Nah, Meredith, it's just a bit of harmless fun. I mean... I don't know. I don't like that he's not taking responsibility at all. He could at least apologize for the trouble. Okay, Frank, if you say so. All right, time to get back in the saddle. Have a great day, Meredith. Thanks. All right, so this is the beginning of a new day. And I have no idea. A very good what's morning, going Prominent Jokes. P.O. Positive or Pet P. I wonder what it'll be today. Actually, no. Nancy, the floor is yours. Yeah, Jack, I've got a pet peeve. Why do people start big coughing when I'm smoking in my store? <laughs> if you don't like it, just leave. Thank you much, Nancy. And, well, if you're asking, it's not like people have other places to go besides the smokehouse that you call a general store. On to the weather forecast. Sunny in the first half of the day and some clouds in the second. Back to the playlist. Alright, so Nancy isn't happy that people are fake coughing when she smokes. I mean, when somebody smokes very close to me, I'm not fake smoking, not fake coughing, I'm coughing. So maybe that's the deal, but maybe not because sometimes people are just trying to, you know, hint that they don't like the surroundings. But back then you could smoke anywhere, right? You could smoke at the store, you could smoke in the car, maybe even on a plane. 
I think you could smoke on a plane. This is so wild now, right? Where is our friend? Hey. Let's talk. Hey, where are you going? Mr. Mackey, please. Stop. Mr. Mackey? Ah, the waxworms have arrived. What? Ew. Have I been walking around with worms? <laughs> you sure have. <laughs> They're just in time. I'm taking a boat to the island this afternoon. This is funny. Great. Have fun. Great. Have fun. Hey, you can tag along if you want, like your father used to. But I'm not helping you with any wax worms. I mean, yeah, let's do it. Oh, really? Sounds like fun. Okay, we'll show up here at 4 p.m. sharp. Aw, everyone wants to spend time with us. It's so nice. We are getting closer and closer to our favorite lumberjack. I'm happy about it because we didn't really get any continuation of our story. So let's see what he thinks. Meredith! Wait, what is that? Hey, Robert! How are you? I was away for a few days on an urgent job out of state. I was so worried. I thought I ruined the cutscene. Oof. Okay, we are okay. Uh, I'm good. It's nice to see you. I'm good. It's nice to see you again. Here's the mail. Thanks. And likewise. Hmm. Priority mail from Town Hall. Let's see what they have to say this time. Dear Mr. Harris, on behalf of yada yada yada, concerning Environmental Management Act 1213, yada yada yada, uh, wait. What? <laughs> Listen to this. We have decided to postpone the construction of apartments for at least six months. We hope this satisfies you as well as the many residents of Providence Oaks that contacted us with their unfiltered and enthusiastic comments. <laughs> it worked. The plan worked. I mean, they just postponed it. So why is he so happy? Wow, great. So happy for you, Robert. We need to celebrate this. Uh, how about tomorrow night? Steak dinner at Moe's. Or something else. On me. Of course. Yes. Ah, I'd love that. Great. It's gonna be fun. See you tomorrow night, then. Gotta go now. The telephone troops need to know the assault can be abandoned. Aw, we have a date. Yay. I'm so happy about it. That's wonderful. And today he chose to wear my favorite color blue so he knew he's going to ask us out for a date <laughs> okay I'm kidding but I really think he looks a little bit better in this short than in a yellow one it's interesting that he's so happy about the project being postponed it doesn't really mean anything because they will still build the flats right but you know, if he's happy, we're gonna be happy. And, you know, I think that Meredith is really enjoying this life in a small town. She has a lot of friends here. She has a house, a job that she enjoys. So, I don't know, she will probably stay here. But I wonder how it's going to look like. Oh, I'm sure that this is Kay's house. Yes, yes, it is her house. So I guess we're going to get a bit of dialogue here. Probably she's going to thank us a lot. For, That's lighter than I thought. For spending time with her kids. I would really love to see them, but I understand that it's just, you know, more work for the game developers. So I understand, but it's a shame. Driving along the highway Hello? Friday delivery day! Well, just call me Friday delivery K! Okay, no, that sounded better in my head. Someone's in a good mood today. Yes, thanks for looking after Max and Gracie last night. You were a real trooper for stepping in last minute. Yes, yes we were. No problem. Are they okay? 
No problem. They were great. I appreciate the lie. <laughs> so... How was the concert? Were you singing when I came up? Were you singing when I came up here just now? <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, Journey is so good. Those songs have been stuck in my head all day. <laughs> that's so cute. Okay, and that's a good thing. That sounds great. Eh, that sounds great. I know, right? There's just so much cool stuff being created right now, you know? I mean, Journey was cool. I got to know them through Barry at first, but I tell you, if Prince or New Order ever came to Portland, I would sell my spleen for tickets. <laughs> One spleen, two bands, quite the dilemma. One spleen, two bands. That's quite the potential dilemma. Oh, and I haven't even mentioned Cyndi Lauper or Run DMC. Or Stevie Wonder. And before you go there, I know you're probably setting up a joke about spleens and ham and organs right now. Jokes on you? I would never. Oh, I would never. All jokes aside, though, I spent half the concert thinking about how I haven't really focused on my own music for a while now. Kids, work, all that stuff. So much going on. And I mean, I love tinkering, but right now, I'm not sure I'm even creating anything cool or just... <sighs> You know, not even Barry is allowed to listen to my songs at this stage, to be honest. You should do some music. I'd love to hear your music sometime. Yes, of course. I'd love to hear your music sometime. I'm sure it's great. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Maybe I'll hold you to that. I was thinking, I have a mixtape with some of my stuff, you know? Just something I've been trying out with my new synthesizer. Of course. I'd be honored. That's great. It's just something I've been playing around with. Don't expect any fireworks. And hey, don't tell me what you think yet, yeah? You'll be my secret special audience of one. <laughs> so I can get used to the idea of an audience. Aww. All right. Would this have anything to do with Sunday evening? Would this have anything to do with Sunday evening? Okay, don't tell anyone. But I'm thinking of performing a song on my new synth this Sunday. Holy crap, I just said that out loud. Dude, you are coming to the open mic, right? Of course. Of course, that's great. Wild horses couldn't drag me away. But act cool, yeah? No one else knows yet. See you there. Sure thing. This is so cool. Back, back to my own journey. Back to my own journey for now. Haha! <laughs> nope, ignoring that. Bye now! <laughs> They're so cute! I love their chemistry a lot. I don't know if voice actors record it together, but they certainly bring all the energy that's needed for this sort of friendship. I really enjoy their communication and their energy. It's amazing. Wow. <laughs> that looks stunning, so, by the way. Is this a quiet day, or does it always take this long? <laughs> Fishing requires patience. We've only been here for two hours. And that's the nice thing about fishing. Yeah, there's a fine line between boredom and relaxation. <laughs> I find it hard to relax sometimes. I find it hard to relax sometimes. Fishing also requires silence. Bert, can I ask you a question? <sighs> Ooh! Do you like Maureen? We ought to be heading back home. It's been a fine day, and I thank you for the company. <laughs> He's not happy with us. Hmm. Kay's tape. Let's have a listen. Driving along the highway, 
headlights light up the signs Thinking of what might have been Radio keeps track of time That's not very good, right? Hello? Hi, Meredith. Guess what I signed today? A monster contract. Yeah. Hmm. Let me think. The m m monster deal? Oh, yes. You are now talking to Steve Mitchell, CEO of a multi-million dollar enterprise. But before I continue my insufferable bragging, I have a thing or two to say to you about you. You've been a huge part of the success of this company. And I feel this is just the beginning. We're entering the golden age of personal computers and we've got front row tickets. The past two weeks have made me realize that I couldn't have done it without you. And I'm going to need you even more in the coming years. So here's a new monster deal I want you to think about. Become a partner in the company for Whoa. 20% of the shares and a significant pay raise. Significant. The only condition is that I need your commitment for the next five years. So, there it is. Think about it and let's talk about it more when you're back in the office. 20% of the company's share, considering what they're doing, it's a lot. It's a huge deal. It's a monster deal or whatever it is. Wow. Oh, wow, Steve. That sounds great. Just let it sink in a bit. I don't need an answer right now. I have to get back to my uh, million dollar lifestyle. Actually, no, I, I need to get cranking on lots of stuff. Talk soon, Meredith. They are making this choice difficult. <laughs> the cats. Good evening, feline friends. Aunt Meredith's gonna keep you company tonight. Come here. Kee -kee -kee. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, that's cute. 20%! That's a lot! A postcard? From Angie? Miss Meredith, I am so, so sorry I haven't been able to see you. It's just that I've been swamped organizing my not-so-timely exit from Providence Oaks. I'm sure you understand. You've probably seen the foreclosure notice. That certainly helped expedite my decision to leave. Anyway, I'll be honest. I'm still thinking about that kiss we shared in the car. Mm. And I don't usually dwell on these kind of things. So, feel special, Meredith. I hear you're going to the open mic night on Sunday. I wasn't planning on going, but I want to see you before I leave. I'm really anxious to find out what you've decided to do. Whether you're going to stay in this town, or go back to the city, or do something else entirely. And I'm going to be forward, as you know I always am. I'd like to know if little old me figures into those plans, somehow. So, anyway, I'll see you there, yeah? Love, Angie. That's really unexpected, but I like this development. I think it's very interesting. So let's... Wait, are we really working on Saturday? Or was it Friday? Happy Saturday, everyone. It's time once again for a... Positive Today's verdict is from Cheryl. Hi, Jack. I went for a walk the other day and suddenly encountered a majestic stag. We looked at each other for a few seconds and, and then he walked off into the woods. Wow, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm glad you could retell the tale. Stags can be dangerous. Today's weather might be dangerous too. You'll need your raincoat all day long, and there will be a thunderstorm tonight. Back to the music. Interesting. So, we are going to see Angie one more time. This is exciting, and I guess everyone is going to be there, because we know Kay is going to be there. I think the fisherman might also come there. So, I'm very happy about that. We are going to talk to everyone, decide what to do with Meredith's life. And now we are going to deliver some mail to Reynolds. Is our friend here? No. 
Why aren't we delivering any mail to him? I mean, he's too busy finding nuggets. I guess. Hey, Mr. Reynolds, where are you? I'm sure we are going to get some dialogue here, right? Let's go. Wait. No dialogue? Okay, fellow Providence Okians, it's time once again for the sent-in letters and announcements. This one's from our very own Maureen, or Mo, as we all know her. Hey, folks. Just wanted to grab your ears for a second to let you know all about the upcoming open mic night over at Moe's Diner this Sunday. That's right. Claim your 15 minutes of fame, enjoy some well performances, and the usual good food and drinks for everyone. I expect to see all of y'all for a great evening and maybe even some dancing. You know who you are. Come join <laughs> the show at Moe's at 8 p.m. this Sunday. I'll come get you if you don't. Well, you heard her, folks. And I'll be there too, so you better not miss it. Back to the music and to one of my favorite songs. Mail Carrier Meredith. Farmer DJ Jack. Farmer DJ Jack. Seen any ghost drivers on the way here? What? Ghost drivers? Yeah, you know, people driving on the wrong side of the road. Nope, haven't seen them. Okay, I was just wondering. Don't bother. I need to get back to the live show. See you tomorrow, I reckon. Bye now. I reckon. Oh, and please close the door. Don't want to broadcast any mail truck noise. Thank you much. Thank you, Reynolds. And yeah, I'm guessing that is going to be quite a big event. <gasps> our friend! Do you see our friend here? Oh my god, I'm so happy to see him. Hey, hey, let's say hi. Hi there! Have you found anything today? Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, a few things. Nothing spectacular. A uh, bottle cap, two nails, and a screwdriver. Ah, okay. Well, good luck. Thanks. Wait, what? This is it? I'm so disappointed because I understand that this is the end of the game. We will deliver all the mail today and then get to the date with Robert and probably wait do we have anything else yeah dinner date with Robert and then we're going to the open mic and that's it will he be there the guy with the detector wait what is this yeah this one okay I guess I mean I understand but that's a little bit sad is he actually... No, he's not working. You know what? Let's annoy him a little bit. I'm busy. I don't care. Aren't we all? No! Damn it! I almost had it. I almost fucking had it. Thanks for breaking my concentration. That's not how it works. You're welcome. You're welcome. <sighs> Video games are supposed to be fun. I feel horrible. Absolutely horrible. Yeah. Maybe you should try a different hobby. You know what? I can beat this damn game. And I'm not quitting until I have. So he can't beat this game for two weeks already. Okay. I don't know, this guy is strange. Alright guys, now we are going to deliver our last package of the day, probably even of the game. And it's going to go to the general store, so I hope to find out if we've won the competition. And I think that we got so much mail today, because I've been delivering it for probably 15 minutes and now let's go inside and talk to Nancy ah oh, you're still here huh yep yep for now when are your parents coming back I mean should we even tell her do you miss them what would make you think that because you're asking 
You're so warm-hearted. Everyone probably likes you. You're so warm-hearted. Everyone probably likes you. Everybody's nice to me because P.O. would fade away without this door. <laughs> yeah, that's... that's true. Replace the deer statue with one of you. They should replace the deer statue with one of you. A bit of appreciation every now and then would be nice. Well, I better be on my way. Have a nice day. So long, Miss Sunshine. So long, Miss Sunshine. What about my photos? Oh, hello. I'll be glad when I can close up the shop. This day is taking forever. Good to know. But did I win? Why isn't she saying anything about the competition? Wow. It's evening. I don't think we ever saw the evening like this. It's so dark. It's very beautiful, by the way. Let's enjoy the scenery a little bit. You see, I'm getting a little bit sad about us finishing this game but I think it's all right let's go and find out what's going to happen to Meredith and Providence Oak and so ends a week full of turmoil are you happy it's over only the angels hadn't lost to the White Sox that would have made it perfect how much would you have won how much would you have won Eight hundred seventy-six dollars and thirty-four cents. It's been a nice payday, huh? They're playing each other again tonight. Should I change the bet? Sorry, I don't care one bit about sports. No, I want a bet because why not? Nope, hold the line. Nope, hold the line. Okay, let's see what happens. Maybe you're my lucky charm. I doubt it. Have a great weekend, Meredith. Oh wait, this was your last day. I totally forgot to tell you, but they still haven't found someone else for the job. So, I guess, you can have it, if you want. Interesting. That sounds quite nice. Are you serious? I don't know. Are you serious? Of course. And it's a great job. You know what? Think about it, and let me know Monday morning when you return your stuff. I gotta run now. Red Sox are playing the Yankees. I honestly don't know what to do because the job offer back home is very good hello hi Meredith it's your dad again how was your time in the mail delivery business <laughs> oh hi dad well don't take this personally no it was okay a nice change of scenery if I'm being completely honest I think she loved it it's me, you know, talking about the offer back home, but I think Meredith, as a character, really li really loved it here. I actually really loved it. Awesome. Maybe you should just keep doing it. Worked out well for me. I don't know. Actually, it seems like they haven't filled the vacancy yet. They haven't? Well, you know what I'd do. No, oh, hold on, Meredith. Let me guess. Mom wants to talk to me? Hi, Meredith. Sorry to butt in, but you're thinking about staying in Providence Oaks? Hi, Mom. I don't know. I'm not sure, to be honest. What are you not sure about, dear? Are other people involved? You know, any interesting, interesting <laughs> ones, perhaps? Yeah. Well, there are some interesting developments, yes. Oh. There are, but are they really interesting enough to give up your entire career? I really think you need to think long and hard on it. Oh, hold on. I have a suspicion Dad wants to talk to me. Meredith, I just wanted to say, you need to clean the lint filter on the dryer every <laughs> once in a while. If you never do that, it could burn the house down. No problem. No problem, Dad. I'll make sure to do that. Great, thanks. I sometimes suddenly worry about things like that in the middle of the night. And it's not about the dryer, of course. I want you to be safe. And I'm sure you'll be okay. 
our parents are so nice. It's just, they're amazing. I'll be fine, don't lose sleep over me. I'll be fine, don't lose sleep over me. Okay, Em, take care. I gotta go, we're running out of coins again. Bye! That was so sweet. I hope you don't think I'm a cheapskate for having dinner here. There aren't a lot of other restaurants around, and I'm pretty sure their food isn't better than Moe's. He dressed up. Do you see that? That's so nice. I mean, okay, let's be nice. Don't worry about it, Robert. I love it here. Thanks, Meredith. You're such a kind person. Good evening, you two beautiful people. Ready to order? Ladies first. Hi, Maureen. Salad, to pass up a juicy T-bone steak, pancakes. Really, no strawberry, why not, not strawberry, no blueberry pie? Why there is no blueberry pie option? Hmm, oh, pancakes, I need pancakes. Excellent choice, Meredith. And what would you like to wash it down with? Mm. Whiskey. I think I'll have a... <laughs> Whiskey, no? glass of wine. Gotcha. Robert? The usual for me, Maureen. All right, Robert. T-bone steak and a beer. Doesn't get any more lumberjack than that. <laughs> Be right back, folks. Ashley, it's pancake time! And get the steaks out! Maureen's the best. Did you hear about the open mic night she's organizing? Yeah. Yeah. Are you going? I wish I could go. Especially since I heard that Jack's gonna do a thing. Jack? What's he gonna do? Who's Jack? I don't remember who Jack is. Wait, isn't it the DJ? Give a lecture about potatoes? Announce the weather for next week? Believe it or not, he's a very good ballet dancer. What? Really? Jack? Really? <laughs> no, he's oh. into comedy. Would have loved to heckled him. Oh well, this is a good week anyhow. It might must be nice that the apartments are off your mind because you're sitting here with me because you're sitting here with me alrighty here are your beverages folks I'm afraid the food might take a little longer oh, as no. a certain kitchen helper thought the freezer was a good place for storing steaks uh, I really should get one of those microwave ovens to defrost them you seem a little stressed is it the upcoming open mic why should I be stressed about that? It's going to be lovely. And you better be there, Robert Harris. Maureen, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. I did not just hear you say that, young man. Oh, by the way, Meredith, I need to steal him for two minutes. He needs to check on some wiring for me. Excuse me, Meredith. This is Maureen's jurisdiction. Have to obey the law. Mmm, that tasted so good. Thanks, Maureen, for the fantastic blueberry pie. What? You're welcome. It's my way of making up for stealing you away from Meredith. Ooh, I swear. She can give quite the stink eye if she wants, can't you, hon? <laughs> oh boy. The world would be boring without her. Speaking of, are you gonna miss your daily delivery round? It sounds like he likes Maureen more than us. I hope he's going to fix it in the future. It depends on who is on the round. I'm looking forward to going back. Yes, I probably will. Yes, I probably will. Must be nice here compared to the big city. You're kidding, right? Have you always lived in a small town? Do you think you'll always live here? Do you think you'll always live here? Nothing's for sure, but I like it here. I needed to change towns after my divorce. Everything and everyone reminded me of her. So he does have a romantic backstory. I told you guys that... Okay, I want to know more. And how are you now? Have you gotten over it? But maybe I shouldn't bother you with the innermost feelings of a lumberjack. Wouldn't be bother at all. Wouldn't be a bother at all. Robert and Meredith, sorry to break up your conversation, but we're closing up early tonight. Gotta set up some stuff for the open mic night, and I can't use any peeping eyes. Oh, okay, Maureen. No problem. Let me get the check for you, so I can leave you two to your lovely evening. Can you put it on my tab, Maureen? Anything for you, darling. 
So that was a date. Thanks, Robert. Don't mention it. You've helped me out so much. This is nothing compared to that. Now let's get going before Maureen gets her broom out. Let's go, hon. Meredith, thanks again for your help. Not sure what would have happened if you hadn't come here for your mail delivery vacation. Okay, the sounds are a little bit too loud. I hope you can hear what he's saying. You're welcome, Robert. I was happy to help you out. I might actually extend my stay here. I might actually extend my stay here. Are you serious? That would be nice. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Wagon West. Good night, Meredith. Um. Don't you wanna like come with us? You too, Robert. But you're not leaving without a hug. Okay, that's sweet. That's cute. I would want something more. Okay. I could never have d predicted delivering mail for two weeks would be like this. I've met so many new people. Some of them are really nice. Some of them a little less so, but all of them interesting in their own way. My temporary nail job, mail job, officially ends tomorrow. Regardless of the actual experience, a change of scenery always has its updates. Upsides. That probably also holds true for tonight's open mic at Moe's Diner. I'm so excited. <laughs> anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So... I'm dedicating my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The first one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar, and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks the bartender, what's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, ah, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tab. So, wanna give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those stakes are too high. <laughs> this one's for our own newcomer, Meredith Weiss. Please no. no. A woman's driving down the freeway, but all of a sudden she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, one car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens. Well, folks, wasn't that special? Now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic, after all. It's actually time for a little break right now. So, come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Mildred, how are you? And how are the cats? Fine, on both counts, dear. Thank you for asking. So, do you like the hair? Of course, it's completely different. Yeah, sure. Love it. That hairdresser did a great job. Thank you, dear. Pity it's quite the waste of time and money, seeing as how I can't stay for long. That's horrible. That's too bad. You see, my son decided to drop by unannounced and he's staying the whole weekend oh really well that sure beats getting a teddy bear in the mail doesn't it mm-hmm all right well anyway take care dear now where did he park the car imagine if it's yes Steve. it's me Matt Kearney in an egg brace real funny huh yeah it is I must admit it it's at least a little funny what happened well, I was about to send the final boss to the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair, and now I'm here looking like a loser. Yep. Ah, oh, poor you. I hope you'll be okay again soon. I hope so. I can't even use my computer right now. That's horrible. Guess who? 
Basil from Baker Street. <laughs> Aw, now I'm going to be a disappointment. It's just me. Oh, that's a real bummer. Aw, that's a real bummer. So, what have I missed? Why the scenes are changing so rapidly? Alright. Yeah, let's do this one. Well, Matt Kearney's condition is worth a mention. But the final act is supposed to be the real showstopper. At least, that's what Maureen tells me. Really? Well then, I guess I arrived just in time. So, how have you been? Imagine if Robert is going to proclaim his love for us during the open mic. That would be interesting. Thanks for the note, it was very sweet. Thanks for the note. It was very sweet. I meant every word, babe. So, have you... Hey Angie, hey Meredith. Sorry to pop in like this, but I just wanted to inform you I fixed everything on the RV. She's got a new radio, I replaced some wiring, adjusted windshield wiper speed. The sea turtle is ready to go! <laughs> That's great, Lori. Thanks. I'm sure it's like she's brand new. Well, I wouldn't say that, but you'll see. Gotta go later. An RV, huh? Oh, it's kind of a long story. You know Mickey and June? But I... What if I knew that Lori would give an RV to Angie? I would keep it. That's not fair. The hiker couple, right? Well, long story short, I've somehow gained possession of their vehicle of choice. Which, as Miss Young just described, is a perfectly adequate RV that I'm going to use to motor right out of this sad little town. Okay. Really? Good for you. Absolutely. Come with me. I mean it. Leave this sad old town behind and go wherever we want to go. Free spirits, the way Mickey and June intended. If June would ask me, I would go, but I will not go with you. Sorry. I have grown quite far. No, no. I mean, that sounds a little bit rude, but that's what I want to see, say. You know, I think I'd rather be by myself for a while. I understand. Look alive, folks! It's time for the final act! It's a doozy! <laughs> Saved by the bell, babe. I got stuff to do anyway. Stop calling us babe, please. Fine! Leave. Dear people, none other than our own Kate. Evans will perform next. She has been writing songs since she was a little girl. And I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please put your hands together for Kay, everyone. Yay. This does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless. That was K, people. Another round of applause. Yay. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. <laughs> this kid can sing. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. 
Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish, but I'd rather be home right now. Hey. Isn't it fun to step out every once in a while? Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. Bert, thank you so much for coming. I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Good night, Bert. Thanks again. And now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Kay's place, Mo Kay's. We haven't settled on a name yet, but there you go. Another round of applause. And have some drinks with us. That is so sweet. Kay's place, huh? Kay's place, huh? Congratulations. That was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me like a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. <laughs> but it feels good, you know? That was amazing. How did it feel to be up there? I have to hand it to you. You were great. I have to go in a bit, but let me know when the next gig is, yeah? You're not leaving already, are you? The fun's just starting. Oh, wait. Of course. Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Well... Wait, I'm not good at this stuff, so I just want to say... It was good to have you back these past weeks, and Really good. You just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. Promise you'll keep in touch? Whatever the outcome, yeah? Aw, okay. Of course. And remember, time marches, marches on. on. <laughs> See ya, Kay. Thanks. For everything. That is so nice. Okay, it's My amazing. lovely people, the time has come for the open mic part of the evening to end. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next, but I just heard he hurt his hand back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for joining us, and there's plenty of food and drink to go around. What's going to happen now? I think we need to make a decision. I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So, you had fun? Of course. Oh, it was great. Kay was amazing. You said it. Oh, that girl is so talented. Oh, I'd give my big toe to be able to do what she does behind a keyboard. Oh, sheesh. Sheesh? Did they say sheesh back in the 80s? All right. I'm still thinking about your news about handing over the diner or Kay's place, huh? That was quite the bombshell. That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. She probably thought I was joking half the time, honestly. I just want to give her the option. It's hers whenever she wants it. And if she doesn't, that's fine too. Bold choice to pronounce it to the town like that. But how do you make a choice like that? Yeah, but... How do you make a choice like that, if you don't even know what your own situation will end up looking like? Something on your mind, hon? Of course. I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling a bit weird about tomorrow. How did things end up with Kay? You could tell me to mind my own, of course. It's just that that girl is like a daughter to me. We talked, yeah. We really reconnected. Yeah. We really reconnected, and I'm happy we did. <laughs> Listen, you're two grown women, and if that's the choice you two ended up on, I can only respect that. Speaking of choices, you've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what you're gonna do yet? Stick around? Move back? I don't know. Honestly, 
No. No clue at all. Sounds like you're feeling a lot of pressure. Do you see Frank? He's just looking at us. That's so strange, but all right. Now I just wish things were a bit more clear. No, I just wish things were a bit more clear. <sighs> you know what I've found? Screw clarity. You don't need clarity to make choices. That's a bit direct. That doesn't sound, I mean, okay. How so? I swear. People these days seem to think that because they can calculate and approximate, they can clear up the secret to existence. Like, life's a game you can win or lose. Pretending you know exactly where future you wants to end up. And plotting that out for the rest of your life? <sighs> I'd almost say that's arrogant. Not to mention boring. The beauty is in not knowing, if you ask me. <laughs> okay. That's uncharacteristically deep. Sue me. Want to know my advice? You take that one first step and see where it leads you. You can never truly predict the one that comes after. And whatever path you take will come with its ups and downs. There will always be joy. And there will always be regret. But that's something to be thankful for. That's what makes life yours, doesn't it? Aww. I think I've grown to love Maureen as a person a lot. I'm still not sure I know what to do, but I'll try. You'll be all right, huh? Thank you just you. keep checking what feels right. And if not, just take that first step, you hear? Maureen? Thanks for everything. I best get back inside. You take care now, Meredith Wise. Thank take you. care, Maureen. That was nice. I enjoyed it. It's Monday already. I'm not ready. I don't want to make a decision. Dear Meredith Weiss, thank you for participating in our annual photography contest. Your wonderful picture did not win the grand prize but you are still a winner. The attached voucher gives you a 20% discount to our autumn course. Sign up today and never take a blurry picture again. David Gillespie, Photography for Beginners, Inc. Good morning, Meredith. You won't believe the weekend I had. Saturday, I placed a bet on the angels, just like you said, and won. But they played again yesterday, and I let it ride, and then they lost. They're playing again tonight, and now I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. You're a gambling addict beyond salvation. You're a gambling addict beyond salvation. Haha, <laughs> Meredith. I guess you're right, and I guess I don't mind. Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job. And that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. I don't like that he's assuming anything. Wait, I'm making a decision now? Talking to Frank? Are you kidding me? That's a bit anticlimactic, no? I mean, I don't want to make a final decision like that, but for Meredith's sake, I think she should stay because she really seems to enjoy it. And yes, I want to wear it a bit longer. Fantastic! So you'll be delivering the mail today? I'll give HR a call and tell them the vacancy is filled. Eh, uh, not so fast, Frank. It's under one condition. If you get in a predicament again, you are on your own. I want... no, no. If you get in a predicament with Walter Morgan again, you're on your own. Ha! <laughs> you got it. I'll have Morgan for breakfast. Now, let's get to work. The mail doesn't deliver itself. Please tell me I'm not going to deliver okay, the mail. Let's see what no. today's weather will be like. P.O. people, good morning. Today's weather will be nothing short of gorgeous. And I can't wait to go outside and head out to the acres. But not before sharing, you know what? P.O. positive or pet peeves? I don't need callers for today's P.O. positive. I'm picking it myself. 
<laughs> I'm talking about Moe's open mic last night. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'm sorry if I offended anyone with my jokes. Well, no. Actually, I am not sorry. Not sorry at all. Thank you much, Mo and Kay, for hosting it. It's just one of the things that makes Providence Oaks the best place in the world. Have a great day. Thanks. Ah, uh, <laughs> you tell him, Jack. What's this guy up to? Wait, is that Robert? Y yeah, yeah, Robert, I'll pull over. Ooh. Hello, Bob. Hey, Meredith, sorry about that. I hope it didn't scare you. Hey, what's going on? This better be good, Robert. Well, Frank told me you're leaving. This is gonna sound super awkward. And hopeless. And desperate. And probably a lot more things, but I don't want you to leave. I've decided a while ago that I'm done with stuff like this, but I guess it's not something you can decide. Aww. Stuff like this? Yeah, you know. I'm a man, you're a woman, I like you. <laughs> a lot. And I didn't want to give in to it. I've been through a rough breakup once, and I didn't want to risk ever feeling like that again. Okay, it was the worst line he could say, but... So, what do you propose? That I just get in your car right now? I wasn't gonna propose, but... <laughs> Yeah, Meredith. I'd love that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes! That's Coffee amazing. and Moe's? And a piece of pie. Finally. Sorry for button in, folks, but I've got a special treat for y'all. I just updated my playlist. This new song is from our very own Kay Evans. Aww, that is sweet. This is the end, right? So we stayed here with Robert and our friends. Alright guys, I guess it's time for me to say some final thoughts about this game. First of all, I enjoyed it a lot. The scenery is amazing. I liked the story and the characters and the gameplay is quite unique because you get to drive a little bit, you know, and talk to people, so it's been a real pleasure and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Please tell me what you think about the game in the comments, I will highly appreciate it and have a great day. Hope to see you soon. Bye.